If your school is using the CIAT tool, which is used to evaluate you during the clinical experience, you might wonder how you will fill that out. Today, we'll show you how you'll do that. We're gonna head on over to clinical coursework, which you can access through the card here, or if you go to your left menu, clinical coursework here as well. Once you get to that page, you're going to see your current placements and any other placements that may have been entered for you. You'll go ahead and click on that card here, on the right hand side of the page, you're going to see some details about the clinical site that you're placed at, the setting, the experience, and the actual dates of the rotation. You'll also see some location details about that site and any other additional information that has been entered by your program. And then you'll see your to-do list. The very first thing you'll want to do is to add your clinical instructor's information. This is going to be a short form, so I'm going to go ahead and click on this plus sign here. A drawer will open and you'll enter in the clinical instructor's first name, last name, email, and reconfirm that email. Once you add that in there, you'll go ahead and click save. Once you do, it will let you know that a new clinical instructor is going to be added and you'll confirm. And you will now see the CI listed on that clinical instructor section. Next, to start the CIT, you'll head on down to the evaluation section. If your school has assigned any other evaluations for you to fill out, you will see those listed here as well, but you'll focus on the CIT here. You'll see when the midterm is due and when the final is due and the actual status. So right now uh, we have not started yet, so that's the get started icon there that you'll see. To get started, you'll click on the actual CIT link here. and you will be redirected to this page. If this is your first time using the CIAT tool, you will have to complete the CIAT training. Please read the instructions up at the top here. Make sure you click on the link for the video. And once you have watched the video, come back and take the quiz. In order to pass, you do need a 75% on the training, which means you will have to get at least 15 out of 20 questions correct. You'll go through the training and make your selections. Once you have entered in all of your answers, you're going to click on Submit. Once you do, you'll see a pop-up that lets you know whether you passed or not. If you scored less than 75%, uh, it'll give you that score and it'll ask you to click OK to retake the training. Once you click OK, if you did not pass, you will be on the training quiz again and you'll retake it. Once you do pass, you'll click OK, and you will be redirected to the CIET. At the top of the page, you will see some instructions as well as some links that you can use to review information provided to you. As you scroll through the page, you're going to see all of the sections that you will be completing. And on the right hand side, you will see the actual form. Anything that is highlighted in red means that it is mandatory for you to complete. So go ahead and make your selections, go on through, enter in any comments, and towards the end of the form, you will see the global rating of student clinical competence. Here you will rate yourself on a scale of one to 10. You'll type in that number there, add in any overall comments, and the last step is to send this to your CI. You'll go ahead and click on this drop down here, and you'll see the CI that you entered earlier. If you have not done that at that point, you are welcome to click on Add a Clinical Instructor and enter in their information here. If you are adding a new CI, you'll go ahead and click Save and you'll confirm. Once you do, you'll go ahead and click on this drop down one more time and you will now see them listed. Go ahead and select your CI and click Submit. If you missed any of the comments or questions, it will let you know that you need to fill in those mandatory fields before you can submit the form. Once you submit, you will be redirected back to the placements page. And if you scroll on down, you will now be able to see the CIET and for the midterm, it is now pending instructor review. Once your instructor completes their portion of the CIET, it will be sent to the school for them to review. And once your school has reviewed the CIET, you will then be able to start your final. If after sending your CIET to your clinical instructor, you realize that the email you entered is wrong, or your clinical instructor lets you know that they did not receive an email, you can resend it to them 
or update their contact information to make sure they receive the CIET. If there is a typo in the email, to edit that, you'll click on the Edit Pencil, and you can edit the email ID here. You'll click Save and Confirm. If there was no typo in the email and you just have to resend it, go ahead and click on CIET. And you'll see your form, and you can click Resend here. 